autopsies are part of the daily routine here at the Timon Hospital in Marseille. In fact, the morgue here examines some 650 bodies in the course of a year. Today's autopsy is of a woman who suffered death by hanging, and to rule out any suspicion of domestic violence, the court has demanded a medical opinion. We can't see everything here, so a scanner would have been useful. Scanner, the magic word that's on every coroner's lips at the moment as the technology is now making its way into morgues. Here they've been using one for three years. Welcome to Vertopsies. In a city rife with gun crimes, the techniques used every week. It's extremely useful. It saves a huge amount of time, and while it's very nice to have lots of detailed images, it cannot replace a traditional autopsy to give us physical evidence of projectiles. Although, for ballistics studies, it is very important. The technique was born in the USA using two tools for post-mortem analysis, the scanner to visualize bone structures, and RMI for the soft tissue and internal organs, although that is less used. This means radiologists are taking part in autopsies, guiding the coroner with virtual images before the dissection or confirming results. I just need to move the mouse a little to have a good view of the entry point of a wound, then go through it, all around it, see the exit point. I can compare an undamaged area with the wound and see all the bone fragments. This body is of a man killed by a gunshot, then burned. Despite this, every last detail can be examined. Not only the projectiles that killed him, but also elements of the crime scene, even his personal effects. The shooter was the left back seat passenger. Probably left handed. He stuck his gun into the victim's ear, and the bullet came out here. We scanned the body from head to toe. We're accurate to within a sixth of a millimetre in terms of structure and we have infinite access in terms of volumes. We can send this data to a colleague for a second opinion. Data can be stored so that if a case reopens in ten years' time, with just a couple of clicks, we can access the body as if it was on the day of the autopsy, unmodified and with no data loss. Marseille is not the only city using this technique. Virtual autopsies are also being carried out in Lausanne in Switzerland. Dr. Rulo is the specialist in this field, performing autopsies on babies who've died suddenly. RMI, in particular, allows her to avoid over-intrusive examinations and return the bodies to grieving parents more quickly. Imagery doesn't allow us to calculate the weight, but we can calculate the volumes, and from that we get the weight. This means we don't need to remove the organs. They can be left in, and we can still get the data we need. Virtual autopsies spare families, religious beliefs, and the bodies themselves, and represent a major advance. Vertopsy is a technology that allows greater understanding, and for sudden baby deaths, can help prevent future accidents.